watching Trans World? Muska. What up, dog? Just chilling. What's that? Some handrails. Oh shit. Muska is definitely one one of those people that that I, I had never met before doing a video. You know, we end up trying to work on a part together and we end up meeting each other and hanging out and becoming friends and like I don't know, like he he's the essence of what skateboarding is, you know, like he just goes out, has fun, you know, and it's not like, oh I'm gonna go try the hardest trick today, this and that. Like he's just gonna go skate. And that that's how it works for him. Like he goes and skates. And that's what his video parts are. I don't care what anyone says. It's not like premeditated, like, okay, get the filmer, da da da, get the photographer, let's go meet here, I gotta get this trick. Like, he's got his boom ox, he's got all of his boys, like, he's just out there, like, having fun, like, just rage and skating. Like, like it's like back in the day, you got your suicidal tendencies tape in the ghetto blaster, blasting it, and judo's off the line tramp. Like, that's what a session with Muska is all about. Uh, Star Center, this is Edward Velasquez speaking. How may I help you, Mr. Muska? Uh, how you doing today, sir? Terrific, how are you? Right on, pretty good, pretty good. Just uh, cruising AZ, you know? Yep. A little vacation out here. Okay. Uh, what's going on? You know where any good handrails are out here? I, I have no idea. You haven't been there yet? No. No? Never, never been there. All right, man. Where's it from? You ever skateboard? Nope. You didn't never? Never. Oh, from? man. Guess what? What's it? <laughs> the day in Arizona was ridiculous. I mean, that's what it will go down as, as the day. It pretty much went something like this. We went on this road trip to Arizona. It was a whole bunch of people that were supposed to have parts and feedback. And uh, like Muska meets us at the skate shop in Arizona. We get ready to go skate. Like, yeah, he's like, I know some spots, this and that. So we go to this empty pool. Everyone skates the pool. And uh, whatever, we're about to leave, and Muska sees this roof gap there. And it was a pretty, pretty diesel roof gap. Like, he ollies it, and then the backs of 180 it, no problem, which was like pretty gnarly. Backs on either. So then after that, he's like, yeah, I know this other spot. And it's this bump over like an oil drum. And then also right next to it was like these little banks that everyone else was skating. Everyone's skating the banks. Muska rolls up on the bump to oil drum, kick flips this thing. The oil drum was like big, like, damn, it's pretty nice, like whatever. On our way out of there, we find this ledge. And it's like a ledge now that everyone knows. It was down like, I don't know, 13 stairs and it had like a crusty ass kink at the bottom and it had like metal rods sticking out of the middle you can imp yourself on, but go to that thing, 50s it, and front side tail slides it, no problem, whatever, just like, Jesus Christ, this guy just going for it today, right? But I mean, he's not, he's just skating, like whatever, he's just skating, that's his deal, right? And sunglasses on to boot, just amazing, right? By this time, it's starting to get a little bit later, and he's like, yeah, I want to try to get to this one more spot. And it was like a nine-star rail and then a 12-star rail right afterwards. He does lip slide down the first rail and front side 50 down the next rail, right? And we're like, Jesus Christ, this, this dude's just today taking care of business. We're just bugging out on it, right? So, like, after that, we go to leave. The night was over, right? On the way out, Muska happens to see this kink rail, right? This is the kink rail on the cover of Feedback. Looks at it, whatever, we all set up, set the lights. 50's at first try. He's turning. This is it. He's turning. He's turning. Still the same day. 50's at first try, no problem. Like Everyone's just like, what me? This dude's just taking care of business today. Like, I mean, I can tell the story, but no one will still realize how gnarly this day was, right? No one, I'm sorry, there's no way no one will ever talk this day, right? So we're like, all right, this dude just did all this crap, and then 50 to double king for that first try. The day is probably over by then, right? Like, it's, it's almost midnight by this time. He's got one more spot, and it was this gap to rail. Well, it was like a 10-star rail, but with like a little gap in the middle. Whatever it does, ollie out nose slide on and ollie out backside 50-50 on that. And uh, that finally was like the end of the night. That was like 2 in the morning by that time. That was ridiculous. Like, that was the gnarliest thing I'd ever seen.